Hey guys, Corey here. Uh, today I'm going to be going over this portable heater I built. And due to some technical difficulties with my camera, we're doing this in our spare room. So, uh, what we got here, it's a Mr. Heater brand 20,000 BTU Blue Flame Heater. Uh, requires no electricity to operate. It's propane. Your standard uh, tank for your grill will run this, or up to 100 pound. It runs on... 11 pounds how they rate 11 pounds of water pressure which is what your standard grill works on so i got this in uh i bought a fuel fitting for it it was a 3 8 mpt it was a 90 degree fitting so 3 8 mpt on one end the other end was a 3 8 inch flare and that was because i needed it to hook up to my fuel line so for my fuel line i went with a 12 foot uh, stainless braided fuel line. It has a uh, gauge on it, so it tells me how low my tank's getting. Excuse me. I built a stand. Uh, it's just out of two of fours and two of sixes. This is a real simple stand. Um, this heater comes with its own feet. If you want to just set it on the ground, I have dogs, so I figured it's the, my best bet is to kind of get it up higher. Um, I'm on my knees right now, so I'm five foot ten. I don't know. It's about head level with me. The top of this heater um, it does have an option for a fan I don't have that yet but I'm thinking about upgrading to it uh, this is already pre-wired it's one simple plug the fan is on the back side of it it's four screws you take off the cover put the fan in put the screws back I think it would take less than a minute to do that does require electricity but I'm sure it draws very little power so I do have a generator, and if the power was to go out, I would have no problem running that fan, and I think it would help circulate some of the heat. Uh, Mr. Heater recommends this. I think it's like 750 square feet is what it'll heat. So plenty for my little shop, or if the power goes out, you know, for the living room, if the furnace isn't running. Um, I did let this run for a little while. The instructions say it should take about 30 seconds. For the fuel to work through for your pilot light. Mine was probably closer to about a minute and a half. Um, I don't know if it's because I have 12 feet of hose. Obviously it had never been run before so nothing was in the system. But after about a minute and a half I seen a little flicker. Kept holding the pilot light button down. Eventually it did establish the pilot light. Let it run for a while. Since my stand is made of two of fours I wanted to feel if the back side of it gets pretty hot. It is not. Uh, Probably five minutes. I only ran it about five minutes, but I can still touch the back of this heater just fine. And I'm using the supplied mounting brackets. So if they can mount directly on your wall, I don't see any reason why the mounts that I have here, you know, are going to get too hot. But uh, it's light enough. I can carry it. It's awkward to carry, but it's not heavy. It's just you got to kind of hold it out in front of you the way I have the stand made because I have the legs a little bit longer. Now at the end of this video, I'll post a whole bunch of still photos for you guys and then uh, and, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, what I'll do is I'll set the camera back up and I'll just show you this uh, the fuel fitting here and, and, the, uh, and the, the way I rigged it up. I did use uh, actual fuel rated tape around the threads, so, uh, or I'm sorry, gas rated tape. Um, so yeah. Let me get the camera set back up. I'll show you this, and then I'll switch around. I'll show you the back side where the fan goes. And hopefully you guys get something out of it. So, uh, let me move this camera. Hey guys, I'm just holding my camera in my hand, so I hope this isn't too awkward. I have my hose just attached with the bread tie up here. And this is the fitting I was talking about. It's a just a 90 degree fitting. I did use the approved tape for it, but it was real simple. They actually had tape over it, so it's pretty well protected. But that right there is what I got for the fitting for my fuel line. Like I said, this is a 12 foot fuel line. So I'll take you around the back, show you where the fan goes. Alright guys, here's the back side of the heater. Uh, that right there, what you're looking at, is where the fan would go. So there's simply four screws to, here. Take them off. Fan goes in. and plug it in on the back side. Alright guys. Hope you guys got some out of that. Um, I'm having some real big camera issues here, so I had to hold it. But hopefully you guys got a good look at how the fuel uh, 
line goes in and on the back side where the fan goes. Uh, if you guys got any suggestions on a good camera, let me know. I'd very appreciate it. But yeah, hopefully you guys got something out of the video. And this, uh, I got about $200 uh, in all the material. That's the gas line, the fitting, uh, the heater, and then a couple boards. Uh, the fan, I looked on Amazon, it's an additional 30 bucks. So if I got the fan, about $230 for the full project cost. In my book, that's not too bad. But I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Feel free to subscribe. Have a good day.